lovely viewers good day once again and welcome to our channel yes my lovely people many many things don't they happen for instance social media I go <laughs> if you know they for social media might be say hmm, i don't know whether you they see road at all because things when they happen now no bunker for this particular video now go see lucifer hmm, with no own eyes those of now will never know lucifer now not for picture at this year but for here now go see him as he use the matter talk all in full body how it a be and every time he aim and waiting he wants for this world how he plan to destroy humanity how he own aim not to still kill and destroy according to the bible now he go still use the man talk and more. let me talk him. Uh -huh. so i go like to break the videos more may i break and well well because of many of us when it be saying english maybe our language you know <laughs> maybe our fault my day we get our own language and maybe english so so those of people, my people want to be said, they know the two they understand this are super super. And uh -huh. make a break and then make one right here. Waiting Lucifer say nine be aim to destroy human say eh? human being for this particular world that we day. So according to Lucifer, in the letters they understand say more than one hundred and fifty thousand people and then they die every day. I don't know how it say no. <laughs> and he say among those people when they, when they die every day, say many of them don't know Jesus. May God forgive us. So only God now you know hmm. and he said in get the kind arm the kind things when they use to, to they get humans yes to make them to you know come your own way to make them to submit their own life to them to him and they don't know say that they put their own life in a danger where it be say not by might be the last thing and in the light to destroy human being he said waiting in if the the aims and the arms when it be say nine they use he said number one are jealous you hmm. he said jealousy they very very strong because that one if you jealous jealousy of fellow human being he's saying go not say hey, many many things go what's up for inside he said another one agreed though he said abortion mm -hmm. He they use that one too. He said pedophile. But that was when I don't know no pedophile. I be all those, you know, humans, human be when it be said that they like to penetrate innocent, innocent children. So they rape innocent, innocent. Eh, eh, you don't understand now. He said lost of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Lost of the flesh. He said now it be the physical desire, sexual desire. He said it the most, most powerful for her. For people, when he be said they even addict to. Mm, P uh, uh, those people when they watch video where they say that they do karate on top of bed when we say uh, uh, I don't understand now. Uh, it's another thing when they see they use they say a loss of the uh, loss of the eyes because human beings they never satisfy at all. Everybody said they need more. They want more bigger house, more bigger car, more money, the more power. He said he used those things against them uh -huh, for their own destruction. And they use those things against them because when they crave for more house, more uh, more power, more money, you go like to do anything or doable for you to achieve all those things. He said they use them against them more. Mm -hmm. He said <clears throat> he said not only to accept sin. He said people said not be only to accept you know he said they even they promote him yes so they even they promote and whereby some people want to be saying maybe all this a uh, uh, man to man this thing or woman to more woman this thing or all this a uh, bad bad music when be say if they bring bad bad things they go like maybe they talk say yes now waiting they want to now waiting they want to uh hey, make the words made the made the word made they give them the authority to do what they want now their life now this one he said yes they even they promote and for that kind of way hmm he said, he said, people not even know, say, that they promote their own self-destruction. Hmm. He said, the, his policy not to kill, steal, and destroy. He said, according to him, he said, black people are more spiritual and that, and, and not make them, when it be said, if they use uh, Islam in their own community, they promote Islam for their own community because he not say, if black people, if they discover Jesus, hmm, he said he don't finish. Oh. He said black people, they say that they mentally and physically fit, that they strong well, well. And make one remain, say, make one still remember, say, in a musician for heaven. Uh -huh. And he said the black people, they get the ability for all those things. That is why if they use them to they promote bad, bad music when they say go, they corrupt the whole world. And secondly, he said, the ability now even to the separate black family to the send them Isaac so that they know go they go church many of them go they smoke drug I beg go let me go talk and then I watch the video make you understand how Lucifer ten years old by this particular time.
This interview is too real. Lucifer, thank you to agreeing to this interview. What would you attribute to your success and popularity? Every generation is the same. I appeal to their lust and ego. I offer all the sex, wealth, and fame a person could want. Do as thou wilt has been my campaign slogan from the start. And my campaign platform hasn't changed either. I run on the same three issues every generation. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life. When you say lust of the flesh, what exactly do you mean? Isn't it obvious? I just use humans' own innate physical desires against them. And since sexual desire seems to be the most powerful, I usually run with that. Now, I didn't create sex, but I must say I've done a superb job at perverting it. Take pornography, for example. What I do is gradually get someone addicted to porn. And once lust has had its full work, and he and she could no longer restrain themselves. They usually look to act out their fantasies on someone, and sometimes that someone is a child. Now, my plan plays out perfectly. That abused child will eventually turn to a life of promiscuity and perversion themselves, allowing me to continue my vicious cycle. And here's the kicker. Many of those abused girls end up right in the porn industry. Now, how's that for irony? Lust of the eyes. Can you elaborate? Humans are never satisfied. You always crave more. Bigger house, bigger car, more money, more power. The list goes on and on. I just take their natural and vicious desire, pervert it, and use it against them for their own destruction. My plan is to allow them to never be content. As long as I can keep them craving what others have, I can depend on them to argue, fight, even kill to get it. Humans are so easily tricked into jealousy. And you know what they say? Jealousy is as cruel as the grave. Pride of life. Now, how does this fit into your campaign platform? Humans are always on a quest for knowledge. I trick the first humans to seek carnal knowledge over godly wisdom. And it's worked like a charm every generation since. With more knowledge comes more pride. And you know pride is my specialty. And since humans don't like to keep God in their wisdom, I'm able to seduce them with all types of things to help puff up their ego. Lately, fame has been my biggest seller. Who doesn't like attention and feeling more important than the next person? Once I make them famous, I can really use them to promote my agenda. With their help, I've convinced half of the world to not only accept sin, but to celebrate it. Do you know what has been my most enjoyable pride campaign to date? Well, my gay pride campaign, of course. Not only do I get the chance to promote your own self-destruction, I get to use God's logo, the rainbow, to do it. Love is love, right? <laughs> my plan not only prevents you worthless humans from reproducing, it distorts the gender roles and allows me to bring all types of chaos and confusion upon your pathetic societies. This has been so successful, I've got men convinced they're women. And women convinced they're men. And some convinced they're no gender at all. And I've got two more pride initiative campaigns I'd like to introduce in the near future. First, it's abortion pride. Now, I think we can pull this off. Society is definitely ready for it. I've enlisted to help a Planned Parenthood to work with marketing and promotions. And all we'll have to do is silence the so-called abolitionists and pro-lifers because the rest of the church doesn't seem to care. And second is pedophilia pride. Now, society might not be ready for this one just yet, so we'll hold off. I need to desensitize them a little more before we introduce it. Some may consider your policies destructive, dangerous even. What would you say to your detractors? All of my policies are aimed to do one of three things. Either steal, kill, or destroy. And if it's not doing one or all three of those things, then it's not in my agenda, and I'm not promoting it. Okay, okay. I'm happy you said that. It seems as if you promote your agenda differently to different ethnicities. If so, why? Of course. I'd be a fool not to. Take black people, for instance. As a people, they're super spiritual. So I can't really convince them that there is no God. What I have been able to do as of late is convince them that he's not the God of the Bible. Now, I've been real successful at promoting black consciousness and Islam in their community. I'm so happy you mentioned black people. It seems as if we've been at the very top of your agenda for quite some time. Why is that? Black people help me reach the masses. Now, as you know, 
I was over music in heaven. My beats were so dope, I got over a third of the angels to follow me. I needed artists and entertainers to help me promote my message here. Who better than black people? Black people possess all the natural rhythm and music ability that I need, and it's easy for me to influence them with money since so many of them grew up without it. Another reason I target black people is because they're strong mentally and physically. If black men were to ever find their identity in Christ, I'd be in trouble. So I try my best to destroy the black family structure and keep black men away from his family and the church. Drugs and incarceration are a couple of my more popular means. Without the head of the household present, I can become the head and influence the children without too much resistance. So you mean to tell me that your policies are intentionally racist against black people? Racist? This has got to be the best law I've ever come up with. Now, I can't believe that humans still believe they're different races. But to answer your question, yes, it has always been my policy to target and isolate a group of people. And out of all my strategies, <laughs> this skin color thing has worked the best. I definitely want to keep white people and black people separated. As long as I can keep black people bitter and white people offended, I'm good. Hopefully black people will never forgive. That way I can continue to use them. My question is, what role, if any, does your administration play in this black on black crime epidemic? Well, as great as my administration is, we can't take all the credit for this. Black people help us tremendously. By aborting so many of their babies, they allow us to bring death to their communities. As the Bible says, they sow the wind and they reap a whirlwind. When implementing all of these policies, do you ever face any resistance or pushback? And if so, from who? One group in particular try to oppose every policy I try to implement. I would be so much further along in my agenda if it wasn't for them. Those pesky, born again, Jesus followers. They're a real thorn in my side. Every generation, they come together and try to dismantle one of my signature policies. Now, I've convinced half of the world that Jesus didn't exist and the other half that he wasn't divine. But I can't seem to convince them. They seem hell-bent on telling everybody about him and spreading his message. Some of me believe he's coming to unseat me in this generation. <laughs> Crazy, huh? I tell you, those idiots are really messing with my legacy. So, Lucifer, how does that make you feel? when uh, us idiots say that Jesus possibly could be coming back in this generation to unseat you. Y'all been saying that for centuries. I just use it as motivation to get as much of our agenda pushed through and deceive as many people as possible before he returns. I think I've done pretty well. My record speaks for itself. About 150,000 people die each day and most of them don't know Jesus. 150,000 people. Make you leave my comments. Wait till I think. Uh -huh. Wait till I. You know, reason for this matter. When be say Lucifer himself come at go interview in own matter. Thank you all. Everyone bless. Make you not forget to share the video. You know, like um, promote the page so that things go there. Okay. Thank you. Everyone bless. Bye for now.